Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXA UK Mic 7 Echo India Whiskey. I want to welcome you to this video where I'm giving a 10 quick questions and answers on the Shegu G90 at 20 watts. Now what it is, is my ham license, um, the maximum uh, transmitting power allowed uh, went from 10 watts to 25 watts on February 2024. And um, I've seen some... Um, concerns about the Shago G90 um, transmitting at a maximum of 20 watts, especially for uh, digital modes like, for example, FT8 and FT4, which has, you know, it, which is considered like a constantly transmitting uh, mode. And when you're transmitting at 20 watts, well, maybe you think uh, things might get a little too hot or might get too dangerous for transceiver. But let's dispel this with this uh, 10 quick questions and answers. So first question, does the Shegu G90 get hot constantly transmitting at 20 watts on digital modes like FT8? The answer is no. I have not noticed any heat issues with the, G, uh, the G90 at 20 watts. I have not done any scientific temperature measurements of the G90, but touching the top of the transceiver with the back of uh, my hand does not feel hot. At worst, it feels warm. My advice is to buy the desktop fan stand for the G90, which I recommend to keep the transceiver as cool as possible. Question 2. Have I had any reliability issues with the G90 when constantly transmitting at 20 watts during digital modes? The answer is no. The G90 has always been on. No shutdowns or gremlins that I have experienced. It has been very reliable so far. Question 3. Someone has mentioned that the G90 power cords are too thin for 20 watts. Have I had any issues with the power uh, cords such as burns or smells? The answer is no. I've always uh, kept an eye out on my equipment and have not noticed any uh, funny cosmetic damage or funny smells with the power cords. It seems the G90 was properly designed for 20 watts of maximum transmission. Question 4. Have the reception uh, reports got better or worse when using the maximum power of the G90 as more power may increase more sound distort uh, distortion on uh, output when transmitting the answer is no it's been better um, i'm making more digital mode contacts than ever since uh, uh, moving from 10 watts the old transmitting limit like i said for uk foundation license holders before uh, february 2024 to 20 watts of uh, transmitting uh, power question five have i needed to change the power supply for my g90 since transmitting from 10 watts to 20 watts of power the answer is no. I can still use my QRP power supply when I was at 10 watts of power. Just to point out, not every power supply is the same, so make sure the one you have can cope with transmitting at 20 watts of power. Question 6. Has the SWR readings on the G90 gone higher since transmitting um, at 20 watts of power? The answer is yes, but nothing alarming. I'm still able to keep it at a reading of below 2 to 1, which is the sort of the highest acceptable reading for a SWR. I do use an external ten, uh, antenna tuning unit, but I've always um, uh, have when I, you know, when I was at uh, 10 watts maximum transmitting power uh, before the license change in February 2024. My advice is if your uh, SWR readings have gone higher when transmitting at 20 watts, then do get an, ex uh, an external antenna tuning unit or make the uh, antenna more resonant for the frequency you are transmitting on. Question 7. Have I needed to change any of my antennas when transmitting from 10 to 20 watts of power because of any problems encountered? The answer is no. Like stated in the answer to question 6, I, you know, I advise on getting uh, an external antenna tuning unit if your SWR readings have increased since uh, transmitting at a higher power. Even at lower power, such as 5 watts, I've uh, needed an external antenna tuning unit uh, to get the best SWR reading possible. Question 8. Any complaints from the neighbours or have I noticed anything in my home, example, the Wi-Fi being constantly disconnected since transmitting at 20 watts with the G90? The answer is no, but I've had my Wi-Fi go off a few times, but that is uh, only on a very specific frequency when doing FT8 when using WSJTX. All I did was move slightly away from that frequency and there are no more disconnections and I'm still able to do FT8 on the band that I am on. Question 9. Is there anything that you wish the G90 had for 20 watts of transmission? And the answer is yes, the 6 meter band coverage. If I want to do FT8 on 6 meters, then I have to switch over to my X6100, but that goes up to a maximum of uh, 10 watts of transmitting power. Um, I will have to get a HF um, or an external HF amplifier so I can try 20 watts on my X6100, not only in the 6 meter band, but also all bands. And question 10, am I scared of using the maximum 20 watts of transmitting power with my G90 now and in the future? 
The answer is no. As pointed out already, the heat output seems very decent and there's been no reliability issues. I think the G90 can actually use more transmitting power, although maybe Shegu decided it's best to keep the maximum at 20 watts to ensure more durability and lifespan of the transceiver. So those are my tech quick questions and answers of the Shegu G90 at uh, 20 watts of power. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.